Because sickle cell disease is a disease of the blood and a disease of transporting oxygen to different organs of the body, sickle cell disease can affect every organ of the body. Hi, I'm Dr. Maureen Okam Achebe, Clinical Director for Hematology at Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'm an adult hematologist. And these are Mass General Brigham's answers to the most commonly asked questions about sickle cell disease. What is sickle cell disease? Sickle cell disease is a disease of the blood that we inherit from our parents. It takes inheriting one abnormal gene from each parent to cause sickle cell disease. For every baby that's born to parents who have sickle cell trait, in other words, they carry the sickle cell gene, there's a one in four chance of the baby having sickle cell disease. Who is affected by sickle cell disease? Sickle cell disease can affect anyone. In the United States, it affects mostly African-Americans and people of African heritage, but it can also affect Hispanics, non-Hispanic Caucasians, people from India and from the Mediterranean. What causes sickle cell disease? Sickle cell disease is caused by an abnormal hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen to different parts of the body. What are the symptoms of sickle cell disease? The hallmark symptom of sickle cell disease is excruciating pain. Patients who have sickle cell disease have pain that comes on episodically and without notice and can last for any duration of time. The pain in sickle cell disease is the thing that brings people to the hospital more frequently than any other complication of sickle cell disease. How is sickle cell disease diagnosed? Since 2006, every single state in the United States had sickle cell disease as one of the diseases that was screened for in neonates. So those are new babies. So if you're born today in the United States, with sickle cell disease, you will know at birth. Now, if you're not born in the United States, or if you were born before 2006, it's possible that the diagnosis wasn't made as a baby. In that case, it's usually made when a person goes to a doctor because they're in pain. There's a simple blood test called a hemoglobin electrophoresis that can make the diagnosis of sickle cell disease. What are the complications of sickle cell disease? Because sickle cell disease is a disease of the blood, and blood goes to all organs of the body, sickle cell complications can affect any organ of the body. Some of the complications of sickle cell disease include strokes, kidney impairment or kidney failure, inflammation of the lungs or pneumonia, leg ulcers, avascular necrosis of the bone, gallbladder problems, and spleen problems. How do you manage sickle cell disease? Management of sickle cell disease has to do with lifestyle modification and medications. When patients are admitted to the hospital for pain episodes, they usually get fluids and pain medication. There are four medications that are currently available and your doctor can tell you which of these is rest for you. Some recommendations I give my patients are to keep well hydrated, not to expose themselves to cold, or too much heat, and to only exercise in a limited fashion. Most patients, by the time they're adults, have a good sense of how much exercise they can tolerate in order not to get sick. How does sickle cell disease affect daily life? Sickle cell disease affects different people in different ways. The most disruptive part of sickle cell disease is really the admission to hospital. But otherwise, patients with sickle cell disease, they go to school, go to work, do everything everybody else does. Stay in touch with your doctor, follow the recommendations, and you should have a good, happy life like everyone else. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Dr. Maureen Okam Achebe, and for my other video on sickle cell disease, click here.